Okay, I'm here at the Lone Peak team. They were fourth last year at NXN and one of the top teams again in the nation this year. Uh, you have 31 points today for your team score. The closest team was 106. So tell me about what that means, just having the support of each other, running together as a team out there. One of our biggest mottos is just running in a pack. And so when we're together, we feel empowered and we're all able to just go lead it all out there. Tell me about the team feel and the team culture you guys have developed. I think we are a family at this point. You know, power in the pack and we always just go together. What's the next race that's coming up? Okay, Regals is the next one, NXR, as, oh State, NXR, NXN this year. Uh, any goals that you have as a team? For sure. We want to take State this year, like always. <laughs> All right, good. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we'll yeah. Okay, so a lighter racing schedule and resting up for some of those big races. Well, congratulations today and, con and uh, good luck on the season. Thank you. Okay, Maya and Boston Bivy won two today. Maya with a 17.34 and Boston with a 17.49. Tell me a little bit about the race. Hey, Maya, go ahead. It was, it was good. We went out pretty like solid, but it was super fun. Boston being there helped me so much. It definitely helped me through the first miles. And Good. Very fast first mile, about a 5.30, uh, and then uh, slowed down a little bit as you went on. When did it start getting gritty and uh, you know, put a little bit of separation, about you know, 15 seconds or so by the end? Uh, where did that separation take place? Where did it start getting tough? Fantastic. So overall, the team score 31 for Lone Peak, and three of you are cousins, all Bybees. Anna was the fifth place runner for Amer for uh, Lone Peak. Um, so tell me about what that means, not just being team, but also being family as well and running as a family. Yeah, we have so much support from all of our aunts and uncles. Like, we had so many people here that were Bybees cheering us on. It definitely means a lot. Like, having over, like, every corner just kind of pushes through. And I feel like having my cousins on the team has helped me a lot, too. Just, I don't know, find my place and make lots of friends. Okay, and just the way you run and interact, it looks like you guys are almost all family. You know, it sounds like it looks like that. So congratulations today on an excellent run. And also, on a team score, you guys obviously have a team thing going on. A lot of good synergies in the team. Congratulations. Thank you. Carter Moore. And third place overall with a 1521, just right behind your teammate and one other. Tell me about the race today. Oh, it was it was tough. It was a definitely an honest race because. Uh, so you and Tyler Palmer from Lone Peak, American Fork finished first. Lone Peak was second in 65. So you guys were not only battling individually but as a team. Did you know it was going to be that close during the race? Well. I think I heard like two Lone Peak guys that were just right next to me, so I knew that would be a tough battle, and I tried to get him, but I got, Ty got me, so it was, okay. was a good race. Well, great work. Congratulations today, and another strong performance, uh, and looking forward to the season. All right, I'm here with Caden Evans, first place overall with a 15.01 American Fork. He's a senior. Caden, tell me about the race today. Uh, it went out fast. I didn't think I'd be up there in that first 100 meters. Felt really good actually. Came down, thought I was going too fast, so I slowed it down, ran next to my teammate for the first mile. Then we came through 5.03, felt really good. So I picked it up from there. Second mile was 9.48. And then that last mile was starting to hurt a little bit, but I just pushed through what I could to run 15.01. A little bit windy out here. I mean, what at what point did you decide you needed to take the lead uh, and kind of grow that gap? Um, I'd say at the, at the mile mark it was. We hit 503 and I was like, well, I'm a little slow, so the best time to take off is now. So I just started going, even if no one went with me, pushed through the wind. So being one of the team captains on the team is 
it's a lot different from the past two years where most times nobody listens to me and I'm just like, like ignored by the entire team. So it's kind of nice being able to just like get lead by example for this team. They see me run fast. They want to start improving. They want to do the best they can every practice and just improve themselves just so they could be where I am by senior year. Okay, fantastic. I imagine you got some universities reaching out to you. Any plans after you graduate? Uh, I'm going to go on a mission for my church. And after that, I'll be going on to college. All right, I'm here with Logan Rotinski, 18th place overall. We had 15 seniors ahead of you and two juniors. You were the first sophomore. Tell me about that race today. So it was, it's really hard. After like the first mile goes by pretty quick, you know, it's a flat, flat little mile. You're able to get out strong. But after a mile, a half, two miles, it gets really hard. You start to feel it. And it was hard for me just because as I was having people drop me, I would try to go with them and then just as much as I tried there were a few occasions where some of the guys would just draw me and have to move back back. It was a great race overall. I'm super happy with how it went. It's, it's a fun wow, race. That was fantastic. So uh, you had, uh, I mean, one of the top sophomores in the state. I was just looking back at the Bob Furman Invitational and you have the third best time on that course ahead of Danny Simmons for that uh, race course for the eighth grade. So just ahead of Danny. Uh, tell me about what that means coming in. You're coming off kind of a hip injury last year, feeling healthy, doing good workouts. Just uh, tell me about how things are clicking now with your workouts. I think it's been really good. Like, I feel like the break has given me a bit more of a motivation to really put the work in because I like just after missing so much, like a full season or two, I just I realized how much I miss racing. And so it's been really good actually. Just, I've been able to feel the motivation again to get back into the work, and that's just helped me progress more and more as I've uh, grown with some guys that are faster than me. So it's been a great experience. Wow, uh, fantastic. Congratulations, Sam. Logan, excellent race and breakthrough. Yeah.
You got to get up. Place from Summit Academy, Caden McGovern. Your first practice is going to be playing tonight the fight song. I don't even know what it is, but 